So this is an example of a student who has completed the gridded enlargement. It looks pretty accurate initially, but when one looks at it closer, although he started to paint, it's a perfect example to show where errors creep in. And although the collage and the drawing looks initially as if it could be good enough to achieve an excellent level, there are a few errors which you can see. So, for example, if we look at the walkers, you've got the E and the R and the S, which don't appear. This says Popcorn Company, but actually he's only put in the word popcorn. Again, the word uncle doesn't appear, etc. So there needs to be more accuracy. Now, I'm not going to correct all of it for him but I'm going to give you and show you a few sort of examples of where perhaps he would need to make some adjustments. So if we just look at this one wrapper here, I can see he can draw lettering relatively accurate but he's not using guidelines. So for example, if we look here, this popcorn lettering, one and a half times the size of that, that's about nine mil. So this would be approximately between 16 and 17. So you can see there that wrapper is far too wide compared to the lettering. This P should be one and a half times the size of this P, but in fact it's over twice the size. So although it's good enough to get a secure, and if it's painting is good, it might get a secure plus, because it lacks accuracy in the lettering and what is seen, it's not ever going to get an excellent level. So, if we look at the Uncle Ben's first of all. So, if we do this adjustment. The other thing which I'm noticing too is. The shape looks very good and he's got his point of reference, but if we do a simple measurement, how wide the neck is from there to there, from there to there, the neck is four centimeters. So on there, it should be six. So you can see the neck isn't wide enough in terms of the accuracy to fit that in and that's one of the reasons he hasn't been able to fit in all of the word walkers. The other thing is too if you look at the width of this leg, the width of that leg is about two and a half centimeters. So between here and here should be two and a half centimeters plus another 1.25 so it should be about 3.75. So it should be probably that wide. So you can see how far off he is. In fact, I would say the thickness of this leg is actually thinner than that leg, even though it should be 1.5 times the size. So there are reasons with his outline why he's made these mistakes. And although he can make some changes to the corrections, he can't completely correct them all without actually drawing it out and starting it again. But as I said, if we just put our guidelines here and to start off, if we put in just the U and then the N and the C and the E at the same height, so we put in another guideline there, the N would go to there, C to about there, the L to there, and the E to about there. We've worked out that it's going to then fit in before we start 
actually put in the detail in. So it's important to get to a stage where you know things are going to fit before putting the detail in. Now you can see this part of this letter goes underneath there, whereas in fact, because this is incorrect, I don't get that correct, but at least I am showing that I'm managing to put the letters in, which actually appear on the wrapper. So I've now fitted in the full word uncle. So he can make some adjustments to get to the next level. When you've made your adjustments and you're ready to start painting, and again, we're gonna use this as an example to see where he has gone wrong when it comes to starting painting. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you to paint is a wrapper or a section which has quite simple color. So for example, the kit cut is just flat white and red, or it could be this area, or it could be this area of the walk is crisp. So we're looking at mixing quite simple colors and showing that you're able to mix the lighter colors first. So if we look at the kit cut wrapper he started to paint, the first thing I note is, although there's a good deal of accuracy in his painting, I don't think he's quite got the color red correct. So if we start off and do our check, so before we do anything, we are going to make sure our paints are clean, as we've done before. Take the excess color off. And finally, we just do this red, which is a bit dirty. So let's start off checking our colors. This red to me looks a bit dark. This red looks a bit light. So we go into mix them together. Normally I would start off with a white, but the white is painted relatively accurately there. Let's just have a look at that. That looks like it's pretty accurate, but I think it needs to be slightly darker. So that looks pretty good to me. Now if you can look at the difference, this is painted far too lightly. So back to our normal process of painting twisting the brush into a point, making sure we have a good consistency of paint, not too watery and not too thick. Then paint in with the tip of the brush. And then, as we've done before, when it comes to painting the other edge, the turning the paper around. Now what you'll find is, if you paint a color incorrectly, when you try to paint over it a second time, it becomes that much more difficult because you're not painting on clean paper. So I'm not gonna paint all of it. I'm just going to paint the cake. 
So he's worked correctly in the sense that he started off with white, then he's gone on to the red. But one of the problems with going on to the red is he hasn't made an accurate enough color. So one of the things I notice also, which would be the last thing to do, if you look at this red there, it's a little bit darker in areas on the right hand side of each letter, which makes it look a bit more three dimensional. So for example, to get up to the next level, I'd want to work with some dark red. Now there's two ways I could darken that red up. I could even darken it with some black or a little bit of blue. So here I'm going to work with a slightly darker color red. I think it's about right. And then I'm going to try to make it look a bit more three dimensional. There's nothing on this side of the letter, so that makes it K a little bit more three-dimensional. Now it would be possible, even though we've mentioned that some of the lettering isn't accurate, if his painting was extremely good, he could easily get it up to a secure plus. And it might even be possible, even with these errors, to get it up into the excellent grades. The enlargement might not be excellent, but the painting could be of a very high standard which would allow it to be marked as an overall excellence.